Hey guys, this is George from Georgia One Apple and on this video I'll be showing you how to get VMware Fusion for free on your Mac. So um, what this application allows you to do is um, it's a virtual desktop application. So um, you can install for example any Windows operating system, any Mac operating system, um, any Linux operating system or any other operating system. So um, I want to show you a quick demo about it and how to get it for free, how to download it and um, also how to use it. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the page on the description and it's a Mediafire um, page with my account and I have uploaded some files um, which are these four right here, VMware Fusion, SIP and they're split in, in four files. So what you're going to do is download them all and um, in order to to join them together you need to install the unarchiver so um, I'm going to be showing a little box or square right now with a link to the video so you can watch that video and, and, and download the unarchiver so once you have the unarchiver um, you can um, click on any of these I'm just going to click on the first one and then it's going to unzip for files so you should end up with um, um, a 250 or 40 megabytes file and once that's done um, I'll keep on showing you the video okay guys so um, it finished extracting the files and you should end up with a VMware fusion zip file so you're gonna open that up also and now it's gonna um, create a folder right here on your desktop um, called VMware Fusion um, and with a DMG inside so once that's done you're gonna open the DMG and I'll show you what's next okay guys so here we have the disk image you're gonna mount the disk image and um, I'm also gonna be offering a serial number so you can register this app okay so now you're gonna double click on this install um, package and you're gonna go through the installation and you're gonna copy the serial number I have provided and um, once you have it installed I have it down here um, VMware Fusion and I have already installed Win Windows Vista Service Pack 1 Ultimate and um, so you can see right here it's powered off and to install a new um, operating system you're gonna click on new if you have a CD you're gonna insert the CD right now it's, it's got, it has to be a boot CD or if you have a disk image or anything else you can click on continue without disk choose um, your disk image for example right here and it should open this so let's say I wanna install um, um, Ubuntu so you click on here and you install it um, so you go through all the process and everything um, let me just tell you that on the settings right here um, once you have it installed you have you can only access your settings um, when it's powered off so right here you can choose um, how much RAM and processors you want to give it to your um, virtual desktop and all the options I recommend you disabling Satellite 3D graphics and sharing um, I recommend you having this um, your home folder this would be your home folder on shared and read and write permissions so I'm going to go ahead and power this on um, and I'll show you when it's booted up how it works okay guys so it finished booting up and um, you can see it works perfectly and here I have access to my shared folders so um, when you go to settings and click on shared 
um, you saw that I put my home folder so here you have your home folder and you can see all my files desktop documents downloads every file I have so it's very easy to use so you can switch files back and forth and what you can also do is um, grab a document from right here and drag it outside and you see this little document icon so you can um, switch files back and forth um, and you can also do it um, from the Mac to your virtual machine and here I'll show you my widgets work perfectly um, my clock, currency um, and here you have this nice option VMware tools which installs um, it's sort of like in bootcamp you install some drivers well VMware installs some drivers so it operates um, very well on your Mac so you can change all these things and whatever and when I go on full screen you'll see that the quality is very good so you see right here there's no um, bad pixels or bad quality or anything like that and um, you can change the resolution however you want it so I'm just gonna leave it like that and it works perfectly so it's almost like running uh, Windows Vista on bootcamp and what's nice about it is that you can just do this and go back to your Mac and do this and go back to your Windows Vista so I hope you guys like this short video and um, I'll be doing another video on how to install Windows Vista or Windows XP and Linux on um, VMware, um, VMware Fusion. So thank you for watching guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you the next time.